RA, is it a mistake? This is an RA item. Probably wouldn't pick this up again. Probably something I wouldn't pick up again, but. Hey everybody, welcome back. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Richard. I'm a part-time reseller where I go to garage sales, thrift stores. I take those items that I find and I sell them on eBay for a profit. Now I do this part-time for a little bit extra money and also I just love to hunt going out to thrift stores and garage sales, finding those unique items and selling them. So today, one of the things I want to talk about is RA. And if you're not familiar with RA, RA means retail arbitrage, where you go to bigger stores like a Walmart, a Home Depot, even a Target, and you find those clearance items and you sell them and make a profit on wine. But as you've seen in the title, RA, is it a mistake? You gotta be careful with RA because you could buy items at the time, look up the comps, and by the time you get them listed, the market's already flooded and you're really not going to make much money on it. So with RA, it's real important to get those items listed right away and watch the market and how it's doing on those particular items because sometimes the market goes up, but in most cases with RA, it tends to go down because it gets flooded. God help us! I told you we shouldn't have committed everything, you asshole! I tell him to sell! Wilson, where are you going? Oh, you idiot! Get back in there at once and sell! Sell! We are in Q4, so sales are doing really well. We got some really good items going out today. So without further ado, let's jump in to the eBay store and see what's sold. Today we've got 16 orders going out for $475. So let's start pulling. First thing we have going out is a, I lotted three of them together. They're the Corning Ware, 45 milliliter French white, number F15 PC, oval casserole dishes. They did have the lids. This is gonna be on shelf eight. That should be right over here. And they're right back here. Pick these up in my local thrift store. I'm into each one for 50 cents. So cost of goods is $1.50. These sold for $20.36 and the buyer is paying $12.45 in shipping. Next thing we have going out is, I picked them up in my local thrift store. It's the Maze Runner series four book box set. And I put by James Dajner, said that right. That's gonna be on G3. That should be, oh, right here. And this is it right here. So pick this up in my local thrift store. I'm into it for $2. This sold for 1101 and the buyer is paying $6.17 in shipping. Next thing, we sold that lot of Furbies. They were, I lotted six of them together. They're 1999 Tiger Electronics Furby Buddies Beanie Bag Plush Stuffed Toy. Pick these up in my local thrift store. They are in, I know where that, they're bin Z. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. There they are, right up there. Again, that's the nice thing about having clear totes. You can see what's in there. Pick these up for a dollar each at my local thrift store. So the cost of goods is six dollars. I also picked up the regular Furbies, they had two of those as well. I paid a dollar. Those sold pretty quickly. What's that? Me up. It's my Furby. Furby. 
Furby, the first Giga Pet oh, you pet. Go ahead. Pet me. Teach to say her name. Me, Nuno. Play games. Big Bab. Oh. And love you back. Uh oh. Achoo. <laughs> Your Furby sneezed. Achoo. And gave mine a cold. Furby loves you, love and Me love you. Furby, the Giga Pet you really. Now these have sold. These sold for $33.11. And the buyer is paying $11 in shipping. Next thing we have going out is an L3. And that's going to be over in the other aisle. It's a... This is pretty good. I picked this up at my local thrift store. It's Jonas Brothers Drum Set Rock Out Musical Hallmark Christmas Ornament 2010. I did put new in box, N-I-B, because it was new. It still had the batteries, which it had three batteries that were still taped onto the inside okay that's gonna be back here pick this up my look pick this up at my local thrift store for a dollar this sold for 1866 and the buyer is paying 570 in shipping Next thing is a Caraway Naturals soup gift set with soup for soup mugs, bowls. Did pick this up at my thrift store. It's not your thrift store. Why do you keep saying that? So this is on shelf six. So that's going to be back over here. And it should be over on this side. Yes. Ooh, don't want to drop it. Pick this up at my local thrift store. Into this for $3. This sold for $28.86. And the buyer is paying $20.75 in shipping. Now, in the description, I did put that the soup is past use-by date. So you definitely want to do that if it's an older item so that the buyer doesn't come and try to open up a return. Next thing is not an inventory, so you know where we're going, a big old pile. It's going to be right over here. This is a Crown Royal whiskey flask. It was new. It, this is it right here. Pick this up at my local thrift store. I'm into it for $2. I have sold this before, so I know it would sell. This sold for $16.96. And the buyer is paying $6.35 in shipping. Okay, next thing is going to be in bin D. It's a... Natural Plex Enema Saline Latex Free. What is that? Oh, there it is, right down here. This should be it. Now, in the description, I are in the custom SKU. I didn't put where I picked this up, but I probably picked this up at the thrift store. And I'm probably maybe into it for 25 cents. Probably something I wouldn't pick up again, but Enema, not the Enema Man. This sold for $5.91. And the buyer is paying $5.70 in shipping. Next item. Did pick this up at my thrift store. It's a Inplex Pure Spa Type S1 Filter Cartridge. Spa re Replacement Cartridge. It is a two-pack. And I did put new. So that's an X2. It's going to be right over here. We'll pull this down. Oh, this is it right here. 
Okay, I was getting worried on this one because I saw the picture and it looked like one filter, but here you can actually see it's two separate filters, so whew, you dodged a bullet on that one. Picked this up at my local thrift store for 50 cents. This sold for $15.26 and it is going free shipping. This is pretty light. 8.4. So should have no problem getting this out under 16 ounces. Next thing I got free at the thrift store. This is a Children's Museum ornament, Legendary Santa, 1996. And I did put with box. That's in A3. And that should be right here next to it. I believe this is it right here. Picked this up at my thrift store for free. This sold for $8.46. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Put it the right way. And the buyer is paying $5.05 in shipping. Okay, next item has been L. And we're going back over here right here it's a ipad mini 4 5 tempered glass screen protector is brand new this is an ra item probably wouldn't pick this up again yeah i definitely wouldn't pick this up again i'm into this for two dollars and 25 cents thought it would be worth more but not that it wasn't that's the thing about r8 you gotta be careful about things that you get because at the time you buy them and then by the time you get them listed market could have got flooded and everybody's dropping their price just to dump them so glad to see this going out we still have a couple left this sold for 5.91 and the buyer is paying 505 in shipping Okay, the next item, the buyer came in, I had two of them, so I basically did a quantity listing with a quantity discount. It's a, a Kitty Hallway Smoke Alarm 10-year lithium battery, White's Escape Path, and the number on it was P3010H. Did pick these up in my local thrift store. They are in P3. That's down here. Hey, whoops, let's not break something. Okay, here they are right here. There's one and two. Pick these up at my thrift store for a dollar each. The cost of goods on this is two dollars. The two of these sold for 4072. And the buyer is paying 11 even in shipping. Okay, a few more items to pull. Next thing is on shelf 12. That's right behind us. It's a set of four Christmas holiday silver snowflake dinner plates. They are 10 and a half inches. And those should be right here. Mend these for a dollar each. I lighted all four of them together. So cost of goods is four dollars. They sold for 2036 and the buyer is paying 2030 in shipping. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and show me packing the plates and how I pack plates to give you an idea. Okay, it's now the next day. Um had to go get some boxes at Walmart in order to do these two packages, but they have to be shipped today. So I went and I got two of Walmart small boxes, 17 by 11 by 13. Wish they had 12 by 12, but my Walmart doesn't carry them. So now let's get started doing the plates. So we'll grab our thank yous. We'll get two of these packed up, so we need two cards. 
And you saw me earlier do the um, small plates. Pretty much big plates are the same, same way. Basically turn them upside down. Take the bubble, tuck it up under, and just roll. So plates I, I find are pretty easy to do. It's just to make sure you give enough. bubble, especially if they're heavy plates. You definitely don't want them to work. One. Now, a viewer did ask how I resize my boxes. I use this right here, it's a box resizer. And all you do is you set it to the size that you want. I'll do it on the outside here to show you. Set it to the size where you want it. So if I want it right here. And then you just run it along and it scores the box, allowing you to fold it. So, I'll throw up a affiliate link to I have and Amazon for where you can get one of these. Set that right there. Okay, I'm gonna need another roll of my uh, bubble wrap. So why I keep a lot of the cutouts, because then I can actually put that down, give it some protection. inside of the box scored go from where you scored it and cut all the way up like that now you can easily pull them in check our weight a little bit see how close we are Seven thirteen. Okay. Seven thirteen. This box. Seventeen eleven by seventeen eleven. So that's seven. And granted, bandages are cheapest. So we'll go ahead and purchase these. Normally, I do bulk shipping, but we're just packing these two items to finish up from yesterday. Okay, there's one. Okay, next thing, we have sold one of these last week. This buyer came in and bought both of them. This is the Vintage Pyrex Fluted Cranberry glass pie plate it is number 229 that is on shelf eight so we're going over here and they're right up underneath here so two of these as you can see this is cranberry color the clear ones don't sell that much these ones so sell a little bit better than the clear ones into these for a dollar each so cost of goods is two dollars 
These two sold for $25.42 and the buyer is paying $16.55 in shipping. Come here, my grandson. Hi. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love you too. I'll be right back. That was one of nine of my grandkids. He doesn't have school today, so I'm watching him. Okay, next thing is we sold some more plates. This is a gold standard genuine porcelain china. A lot of four. These are the saucers, pink floral, Japan. They're on shelf four, so that's going to be over here. And I think it's those ones right there. Let me just pull the picture up and look. Okay, it's not these ones. We'll set these right there. It's these four right here. Didn't have the cups for these, so I just lotted the saucers by themselves. I had picked up the entire set. Let me, let me scratch that. Maybe I did pick up the cups and I listed the cups. Make up your mind! And the saucers separately, because I think that's the way I've seen them out there. Picked up the entire set, which I was complete now that I remember. Had the plates, and I see the bowls down there, and it looks like we've got the salad and the bread and butter plates. So picked up the entire set for $30. These sold for $12.71, and the buyer is paying $10 in shipping. Next item, did take a while to sell. Picked these up at the thrift store. The boxes, probably this is why it took so long. The boxes were in not the best condition. This is gonna be an H2, that's right here. And I can see them right there. Let's see, move this out of the way. Let's take this down out for now don't want to damage them anymore so I did lot these two together this is the animal mobs and the utility pack you can see that this box is not in the best condition the box was crushed see it like it is so I'm into each of these for 50 cents each so that cost of goods is a dollar These two sold for $22.91, and the buyer is paying $11 even in shipping. And the last item we have going out, picked up a bunch of Blu-rays at my uh, local thrift store. I picked up a lot of Blu-rays. I'm into them for a dollar each. So what I did is I tried to lot them together some of them I still haven't listed yet but I put the the genre together but this was a box set this is going to be in bin Y that should be right here so I also picked this up for just a dollar even though it was a box set so in the table I stop it get some help in the title, I put Rambo Movie Box Collection 1 through 3 Blu-ray, and I did put Sylvester Stallone in the title. This sold for $10.16, and the buyer is paying $3.92 in shipping. So we had some pretty good sales go out today. Hope you found some benefit out of the video. If not, maybe some entertainment. If you did, hit that like button. Helps the channel out. Also too, if you're not currently subscribed, consider subscribing and hit that bell notification. You'll be notified the next time I do a video. As always, keep picking.
wigging out again on me. What the heck? So to so when I'm down in the basement, sometimes they it just wigs out on me. I don't know why. <laughs> 